Hi, namaste. My name is Henry Chedicard. I'm a French Canadian hypnotherapist that has worked with thousands of clients. And my special field of interest and study is brainwashing and mind control by cults. A few years ago, my friend Henry Doktovsky, that you see here, wrote a very interesting book called The Eleven Naked Emperor. This book is about the 11 people that took over the Hare Krishna movement after Swami Bhaktivedanta passed away in 1977. And now, in 2024, there are more than 100 so-called gurus, spiritual master in the ISKCON organization. And I say that these people are brainwashed. Many of those people that are now gurus in the Hare Krishna movement have become multimillionaires because after giving initiation to hundreds, possibly a few thousands of people, they now receive monthly donations from those disciples. Some have even retired in Beverly Hills, California, like this guy, Lee Dayananda Howard Resnick, who was one of the 11 original gurus that proclaimed themselves spiritual master after the departure of Swami Bhaktivedanta. It is important to understand that to become a guru, a so-called spiritual master in ISKCON, you have to worship Swami Bhaktivedanta as someone who was pure and perfect and you have to align your heart and your mind with his teaching. Now, some of the teaching of Swami Bhaktivedanta are based on the basic principle of Hinduism, which is belief that we are a soul, Atman. There is such a thing as reincarnation until you reach perfection. Then there is mukti or liberation. There is the principle that we should live a sadvic life, a pure life, a vegetarian life, and that we have to develop love in our heart for God. But there are also some very controversial teaching of Swami Bhaktivedanta that these hundred guru must believe in. Swami Bhaktivedanta said clearly in his first books that the black race was an ugly race. He said that the United States made a big mistake in giving the black slave freedom. They should have remained as slave. Just give them food and clothing, he says. Swami Bhaktivedanta said, 
terrible things about the Jews, stating that Jewish people were not really interested in their own religion. All they cared about is making money. I have made a video about that and you can find a link to that video under this video. He said that homosexuality was not for any sane gentleman. He actually said that homosexuality was a demonic activity. Although some of his closest disciples, homosexuals, such as Kirtan Ananda that you see here, and his longtime lover, Arigriva. Swami Bhaktivedanta organized terrible marriage, one of the worst was the organization of a marriage between his disciple Shamadasi that you see here and Arigriva, a lifelong homosexual and pervert. It is my firm belief that at the end of his life, 1976-1977, Swami Bhaktivedanta had become senile. In his conversation with his disciple Rameshwar, he said that the Hare Krishna movement in the future should get access to the atomic bomb. What would the Hare Krishna do with atomic bombs? In many of his books, that there are devotees of Krishna and then there are demons. And if you do not want to believe in Krishna, he said at one point, Possibly, we should kill those demons. The reality right now, in 2024, is that most of the devotees, especially in Russia, Ukraine, Poland, and many other countries where Swami Bhaktivedanta's books have not been properly translated have no idea of what Swami Bhaktivedanta said about woman, for example, as being less intelligent than man, having a brain that is only 50% as big as one of a man. And he also said that woman do like a man that is expert in raping them. So if you are new to the Hare Krishna philosophy and you're thinking possibly of being initiated by one of those 100 or so ISKCON guru, I say make an investigation before you pledge your soul, before you give your mind, before you give your power to any of those so-called guru, because your mind will be linked with their mind possibly for years and years to come and you might be then unable to deprogram your mind from such negative belief. 
And for those who have been members of the Air Krishna movement for years and years and years, it is important to make a review of your belief system. Have you accepted the teaching of Swami Bhaktivedanta that women are less intelligent than men or that homosexuality is a demonic activity or that women do like a man expert in raping them? Have you accepted such belief? Because you were told that Swami Bhaktivedanta was pure, perfect, and wise. If you did, you are brainwashed. You have the power to choose which teaching within the Hare Krishna movement is useful, like the reading of the Bhagavad Gita, and you have to reject those so-called teaching where the women are called less intelligent, the black people are called ugly, homosexuality is called demonic. Unfortunately, the so-called 100 gurus of ISKCON right now are asking the disciples to bow down to the images and statues of Swami Bhaktivedanta and some of them even ask to be worshipped. They ask the disciple to bow down to their images and now some of them are even making statues of themselves to be worshipped like the statues of Radhanath Richard Slavin, a despicable character that was involved in planning the murder of Sulochan in the 1980s. Some of those gurus were poor hippies and now some are multimillionaire that live in gated communities. At least one lives in Beverly Hill. And for them it has become a business. And they don't mind to lie and deceive men and women to worship them and give them money. There has been a lot of brainwashing, a lot of crimes, a lot of scams in this con, and some of those scams are going on right now in 2024. Take care of your mind, take care of your heart, don't give your power away. God is, first of all, in your own heart. Thank you very much. Namaste.